As we celebrate the new year, we may have to travel back in time a little bit. Not too much, it's not going to affect history, but we're going to travel back to December to have a look at the December 2018 box from the folks over at BAM. Yes, we can't affect time stream anywhere. So we're going to go back in time and have a look at the last box that came to us from the folks over at BAM. And this was for December 2018. Being that it is new, we're newly into January. It would make sense, of course, that we're going to be looking at the previous month's outing from BAM. And this is the original BAM in a cardboard box. I guess they are still looking to print their boxes, or maybe that this is the route that they're still going. Um, but inside, if you are new to BAM, let me tell you, let me break it down, give you a little 411 on that. BAM Box every single month delivers collectibles, autographs, and even movie memorabilia. How about that? We're going to go ahead and open this one up. This is, like I said, the BAM Box. And being that we opened up the previous BAM Box for December, which ended up being the Horror BAM Box, we sort of now know by process of elimination that this is the original BAM Box. I just realized I said BAM a whole lot of times here. I am going to reach off the camera, grabbing, reaching my hand deep into the black hole, and I'm going to grab Old Red. She's going to assist us not only in this video, but certainly future videos. Hank is still finding himself. I don't know where he's gone to. He's wandered off aimlessly somewhere. But old Red is standing in as good as she always has. And uh, we're going to see what we've got inside here. So for obviously, for starters, we've got ourselves some tissue paper. We don't really need this. I don't really need this. Maybe you need this. Maybe you collect tissue paper. But I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Hold on to it for the time being. You let me know when you need it. I'm going to put it right over there. And by right over there, it's basically on the floor. First thing we are getting is the cobble pot soft. He's not. I believe this is a nod to Batman the Re Batman Returns, where Oswald Cobblepot was running for mayor, which sort of does fall into the Christmas season. I mean, I guess you could consider Batman Returns to be a Christmas movie. Well, it's not as much, well, it's just as much Christmas as it is, say, the likes of Die Hard, which a lot of people have now admittingly accepted as a Christmas staple, even though Bruce Willis has not. It does say Cobblepot soft, he's not. Uh, just a very basic, simplistic uh, button system on the back. You can see how that would pin onto your denim jacket. Did you just say denim jacket? Pretty neat looking pin. Nice little replica. Being also that this is the Christmas season, we've got ourselves uh, the little elf. Little tiny elf. Bam box, bam pop culture, limited edition enamel pin. And this is Billy. Not Billy. What was his name? Drawing a blank now. Cotton-headed Ninny Muggins, designed by Brian Romero. I like that. What was his name? Oh, it's going to drive me crazy now. See, that's the problem when you're not thinking of something specifically. Say if somebody just walked up to you, nudged you on the shoulder, you turn around and say, yeah, sorry, I'm, yeah, yeah, did you need something? And somebody just randomly threw out something to you and asked you to answer right away, you would, you would draw a blank. I'm currently drawing a blank. I'm sure somebody will tell me down below there. Uh, we also have, this looks like it's from Goonies. Ooh, look at this. This, I believe, is the uh, the little, I don't know if you would call it a talisman, or the little stone uh, medallion. It's not even quite a medallion that they take with them. They line it up to the mountains. Mountain, mountain. I believe this is from Goonies. Very nicely painted also as well in the gold. Kind of like an off blue color. Very, very nice. Still drawing a blank about that. I feel so, I feel so bad that I can't remember his name. It'll come to me, I'm sure. The first autograph print. Speaking of Die Hard, shoot the glass. We have a Die Hard print. Now it has been autographed by the artist. It is out of two thousand copies. This happens to be four hundred and fifty-six. And the back there. Of all the terrorist I. I kill, I kill one with feet smaller than my sister. The BAM Pop Culture Box Fan Art Collection Art Print Yippee Ki A has been hand signed by artist Oscar Van for the BAM Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. Very nice. I was actually I was just I was talking about I was talking about Die Hard. What's the chances of what are the chances? The other thing is usually an autograph. Oh, what is this? Re-elect Mayor Goldie Wilson. Honesty, decency, and integrity. 
course, we know this is from Back to the Future. I think it's, is it from Back to the Future 2 or Back to the Future 1? No, Back to the Future 1 is where Marty first runs into uh, uh, Goldie Wilson, if you will. And, and he says, hey, you're running for mayor. And, and he says, of course, yeah, mayor. So I think in, oh, maybe it's in 85. There we go. In 1985, he's, he's mayor. And then in, was it 56, 57? Uh, you know, of course, he runs into him in the diner and says, you're going to be a mayor. Very cool. I'm sure he probably wasn't doing a whole lot now, but it's, it's neat that they would have got the autograph happening right here. There we go. The 8x10 photograph has been hand-signed by Donald Full of Love. Is that his actual name? Full of Love who played Goldie Wilson back to the future one and two. It was signed during a private signing with the band box and is guaranteed to be authentic. How about that? Look at that neat schnazzy looking autograph. Then of course, we've got all the things, all the trinkets inside that we also got included. This is all for December, 2018. We got the band box signing with Donald full of love. I can't believe that's his name. Goldie Wilson from back to the future. We got the die hard autograph prints. Now, there were two variations. What is the difference? Oh, this one's kind of got like an image or something on top of it. I don't think they're that much different. This one has a slightly more kind of purpley tint to it. Uh, we also got ourselves the BAM exclusive cotton-headed Ninny Muggins. I passed through the seven, seven levels of Candy Cane Forest, through the sea of swirly twirly gumdrops, and then walked through the Lincoln Tunnel. Collect all three, look out for the 250 and 99 variants numbered on the back of the pin. It was also the Oswald Cobblepot Mare. This one would have been neat. And also this one, this is the one I got here. Uh, the Penguin Campaign Button Prop Replicas. These buttons were seen throughout the film as Penguin runs for mayor with supporters wearing these buttons. In the film, Danny DeVito, the Penguin, uh, pins one on cast on a cast member. You'll receive one of the three pins. There you go. And also there was the Goonies Copper Bones Key Prop Replica from Dark Matter Props. This one-to-one -one scale Copper Bones Key Prop Replica from the cult classic 80s movie is brought to us by Dark Matter Props. How about that? It really goes to show that you do get a fair bit of cool stuff if you like replicas, if you like autographs, for example. I think my favorite thing, in all honesty, from this set... I might have to say is the Goonies. That was really neat. A little really neat looking replica. Of course, the autograph, re-elect Goldie Wilson. And then, of course, the pin. I'm still drawing an absolute blank. What's 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 his name? It's not, no, it's not Will Ferrell. We, no, no. Who is he playing the film? Somebody's going to tell me. And then one person's going to tell me. And then 86 people are going to tell me after that. Let me know. I just, fin I just finished literally reviewing him. Either way, guys... If you're interested in subscribing to the Bambox, it's as simple as heading over to www.bambox.com. The Bambox.com. You can either subscribe to the original, or you can subscribe to the extra spicy, the horror Bambox. And either way, you get collectibles and autographs like all the stuff that you've seen over this video. The eight minutes or so video. Make sure, speaking of subscribing, here we go. Speaking of subscribing, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below this video. You know, we're coming up to 300,000 subscribers. I tend not to throw out numbers because I'm not a numbers guy myself, but coming up to 300,000 subscribers, that is insane. We're also coming up next month to 10 years of doing this. This stuff right here, the stuff that you've been watching whether you've been watching lately, you've just subscribed to this channel, or you've been watching for the last 10 years, we have collectively, you and me and everybody here, have collectively been doing this thing for 10 years, or at least coming up to 10 years. So we got to do something fancy, and I don't really know what, maybe a live stream, I'm not really sure. If you guys have any ideas down below, let me know what you would like me to do maybe for a 10-year, uh, maybe it might be a 300,000, 10 year celebration extravaganza we'll have to work on the title either way guys as always thanks for watching as you always do as always thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel commenting down below many more videos will be coming your way over the course of 2019 so stay tuned for those 
and I'll see you guys next time.